Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Kirstein. Our reading for today is the Epistle reading from the second Sunday in Advent, Romans chapter 15, verses 4 through 13. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again it is said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, the root of Jesse will come, even he who arises to rule the Gentiles. In him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In these verses, St. Paul is very concerned about two things. He repeats these two words very frequently in these verses. The first is hope. The second is Gentiles. And together, we have this question, how do the Gentiles have hope? We often forget just how big a deal it is that Gentiles can be saved. The promise of the Savior was given to Adam and Eve, and then the covenant was made with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob for the children of Israel, for God's chosen people, the promise of a Savior. St. Paul explains here that even the law and the prophets testify to the salvation of the nations, salvation that comes to the Gentiles, not just the children of Israel and the descendants of Abraham. Jesus comes to all men. Jesus comes in order to save all men, not just the Israelites. But we are left with just one question. How then is it that Gentiles can be saved? We are not descended from Abraham, not by blood. How is it that the Gentiles can be included in this covenant, in this promise? The answer for us Gentiles is holy baptism. In holy baptism, God places his name on us. We are made children of God, not by blood, as the children of Abraham are, but by water and the Spirit. We are reborn. We have a new genealogy in Christ. We now have hope. The law and the prophets are not just for the followers of Judaism. They are for Christians. They reveal Christ to us and the promise of the Savior. They point us to Christ, who comes to save all nations and all people. And so we have hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound with hope. Thanks be to God. Amen.